Welcome. Today we're going to take a tour of Blue Canoe's basic setup so you can get oriented with how the app works. Blue Canoe is organized around a daily plan called Today's Plan. You'll want to complete this plan every day to get in those crucial 10 to 15 minutes of practice. Doing this daily helps you form positive habits and improve your English skills. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see different navigation icons. We're on the home page right now. Next, there's the Browse tab. Here, you can scroll through all of our games and activities. Remember, you can scroll sideways to view subtopics and vertically to explore main topics. Once you complete an activity, you'll see a green circle next to it, showing that it's finished. The activities contain both pronunciation lessons and vocabulary lessons. We'll be breaking down games, pronunciation lessons, and vocabulary lessons in the next three videos. Next, visit the color vowel chart to review and practice key sounds in English. Here's what I recommend for a warm-up. Listen and use your hand to track the vowel sound. Repeat the sound along with the recording and speak the word or sound after the recording. For example, green, then green tea, then repeat green tea, e. This three-part practice helps you to tune your ear and practice speaking clearly. Now let's look at the Blue Canoe Dictionary. This tool is a fantastic resource for pronunciation. It keeps a record of the words you've recently looked up, so you can easily find words that you want to practice again. Each word that you look up is underlined with its stressed syllable, marked with the color vowel, and comes with a pronunciation guide. For example, if you look up mustard, you can hear its color vowel, a cup of mustard, ah. Then you can practice saying it out loud while extending your hand for the vowel sound. When you search a word, you will notice that there is an option to save it. If you save it, it will be there for you to come back to later. If you exit out and go back to the main screen, you will see that there are both recent searches and saved words. The saved words will remain no matter how many words you search. You can revisit it and if you decide you want to unsave it, you can. Now, we will come back to Wordsmith, Conversations, and Interview in future videos, but they are all activities or tools that you can use in Blue Canoe that need a bit more detail to really go over. Under the More tab, you'll find some additional features. You can also watch minute-long videos where we explain different features of pronunciation and spoken English. Some of these videos focus on vowel sounds, and you'll see them in your lessons whenever you receive feedback. You can also revisit the original lesson you completed when you first started Blue Canoe, and it's a great way to review what you learned. In your profile, you can view your progress over the past 30 days. Here, you can see all of the lessons that I've completed in my daily plan. Ideally, You'll want to see all green dots to show that you're practicing daily. If you ever have a question, suggestion, or issue, you can contact us right from the home page by pressing the contact icon. Just select the relevant option and it will open an email with a data snapshot making it easy for us to assist you quickly. That's a basic overview of Blue Canoe and how to navigate the app. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into the specific activities you'll be working with. Thanks for watching.